hey yeah i've got a yale and it's pretty good that it says it's you can put it outside and not marine not not near the sea but just outside if it rains it's fine because it's stainless steel so this is mm, strength rating two wet conditions higher what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up and see if i can decode this out of the packet using the methods that i know so here i go okay now the combination will be at the back of this lock i'm not going to look just so that this will prove that um, if my method works or not. Um, yeah, this lock, uh, uh, the numbers around it aren't that bright. I don't like that. But that yellow triangle, that's, uh, that stands out, so I do like that. Okay, so how to decode this, how to find out the combination if you've lost your combination. Well, first thing to do is to f find the first number. Now, if you pull up very hard on the shackle, it's going to click. It's going to be lots of clicks, and that's too hard to find the first number. If you're not pulling up hard enough, it's just going to turn and turn, and you're not going to feel anything. We're going to pull up halfway. We might pull up with just one finger to make sure we're not pulling up too hard. We're going to turn left instead of right. This is the method that I found out. A lot of techniques talk about turning it right to find the first number, but I found that if you turn left, you will find it more often, more reliably. It will stand out more. Turn it several times. Make sure that I only put it halfway. Turn it several times to the left. Several times, several times. Keep turning, keep turning. Okay, if there's going to be nothing at all, I'm not pulling up hard enough, so I pull up a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so it's stopping here, like around about, mm, that was about 21. I'm going to pull up for just a fraction harder, and yeah, it, it stops. Now to confirm that this is the right number, around about 21, nearly 21, is if I keep the same tension, the exact same tension, turn it right, one full turn past that 21, and then the other way, it doesn't get stuck. So that confirms it's the right number, because if I keep turning exactly the same tension, keep turning, and it stops again. I don't know if that's 21 or 20 and a half. Let's call it 21. Okay, so what we're going to do is add on 15. It's about 14 and a half to be accurate, but we can add on. We, we might be able to add on 15. Um, let's add on 15. So if it was 20, then 15 would be 5, 10, 35. But we're going to go to 36. We're going to say that is our first number. Okay. So now we know 36 is the first number. We have to find the third number next. Now to do that, I'm going to start at zero. You don't have to turn it several times. Just go to any zero. And I'm going to pull up harder on the shackle this time because I want to make it click. There's one just before zero. And it won't come out of that gate. I can't actually turn the wheel out of that gate unless I release tension, so I'm going to release tension, turn it a bit, tension it again, and I'm going to turn it, and it clicks into the next one, and and so on, it won't come out unless I release tension, turn it a bit, tension it again, turn it and clicks into the next one. Okay, so there are 12 of these around this dial, and we want to find the one that will, is going to be... Um, have the most resistance what I'll show you what I mean by that when we pull up on the shackle and it clicks into 
this one if I pull up even harder it gets really tight to turn left and right okay it's still turns but it's uh, there's a lot of friction so I'm going to release tension turn it a bit lift it okay, this is the next one pull up harder and yep lots of friction I'm gonna go to the next one lots of friction lots of friction lots of friction next one lots of friction Hang on, I didn't get past um, lots of friction lots of friction I have to pull up quite hard quite hard I'm pushing down with my thumb and lifting with my finger quite hard and you can see with my fingers it's they're starting to um, get marked because I have to pull up quite hard feel this friction and then release turn a little bit pull up quite hard fix into the next one friction okay now no friction even if I pull up quite hard no friction those other ones I might not have had to pull up that hard because this is so loose I could even turn it with one finger what that tells me is that's about let's call that 32 is the third number so 36 is the first number 32 as the third number okay so with that information we do what we normally do when we know the combination to dial it in we're going to turn several times to the right to reset the internal wheels now we said uh, 36 was our first number 36 then one full time full turn round and past 36 and we're going to go up in twos so we'll go to 38 notice I'm not pulling up on the shackle at all for any of this uh, yet and then back to our third number 32 we pull up on the shackle and it happened to open that was quick if that didn't work what I would have done is I would have have uh, let, let's let's close it again what we're just pretending that um, that didn't work what I would have done instead of turning from 36 to 38 as I said would go up in twos we would go up another two to zero is our second number and then back to 32 and then pull up on the shackle if that didn't work we'd add two again as a second number there's two and 32 pull up on the shackle then plus two would go to four and then back to 32 pull up on the shackle and we we keep on doing it until it opened I got lucky it opened quick I didn't know that it would open that quick I didn't know the combination but um, what I uh, want to point out is okay several times to the right we're going to we said um, 36 as our first number A back to 36 and we said we, get, we added 2 to 38 didn't we and then back to 32 and pulled up and opened what you'll find is okay 36 is the first number which is bang on then uh, instead of 38 they've got 39 and 32 is bang on um, you'll find that if the numbers might be one out and it doesn't matter because of the tolerances of this lock how it's manufactured you can be one out and sometimes even two out and it will still open and that's how you decode one of these locks 